You know you've made it big when Hollywood superstar Idris Elba is such a big fan that he's more than happy to announce your arrival. He's one of Africa's biggest names, so it was no surprise that Nigeria's Afrobeat star David O sold out London's O2 Arena. As one of the most followed African artists on social media, his videos are now hitting 100 million views. David O's influence shows no signs of waning. The first African artist to perform live at the MOBO Awards. From Ed Sheeran to Alicia Keys, the influence of his sound is everywhere. Nigerian pop's favorite son is now a global commodity and people can't seem to get enough of it. Being African is cool now, you know what I'm saying? Years ago, it wasn't really cool to be African. Not only music, like the clothes, the food, everything, the whole culture. I have the biggest record ever in, the, in America right now, an African record, you know what I'm saying? I'm not speaking, most of the record is broken English. I'm singing in broken English. They don't even know what I'm saying, but it feels good. Entertainment has been a saving grace for us in Africa because that's really the only thing we can look at and smile. Come to Africa, eat the food. As he's been picking up awards, he's used his celebrity to both celebrate Africa and call out its endemic corruption. I want to talk about what's going on in Africa. I know you I'm not a politician. What I was really saying at the, um, the mobile was just, there's a lot of things happening back home, you know what I'm saying, that's, I feel like it's not right. If I was in their position, there's a lot of things I would have done different. You know what I'm saying? So... Things like what? I mean, I, I really don't have an example, really. Just, just do, do your job. You know, these are guys that have houses in London, have houses in America, private jets, blah, 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 blah. David O himself is no stranger to private jets. As the son of one of Nigeria's richest men, he too is used to a life of privilege. He bought his first property in America in his early 20s. I bought that house when I was 23, no, no, 24. So I moved there, I'm the, I'm the only African American or African person in that neighborhood. So I drove in, had the U-Haul truck behind me, moved in, regular moved in, and then it's like two days, two days later, whoop, 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 police come to the door, like a detective type, open it. Whoosh. They came in, they searched the whole house, asked me what do I do, how, because I bought that house cash. Stormzy had okay. the exact same experience when he bought a new property in Chelsea. Okay. What is it about the authorities or the police, do you think, that has a problem seeing young black successful men like yourselves? Honestly, I don't think they have a problem with it. It's just, it might just be shocking. I don't think it's a problem. It's just like, or oh, they want to know how. Like, it's confusing. Like, how did he get this house? How did he get his money to pay for this? Blah, blah, blah. But when, when you see young black men not stealing money, not doing blah, 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 not robbing, not killing, doing something positive and mix money, something out of it and then move into a certain area and then you're like confused. But and how is that not offensive to you? But I, I, don't, I won't say it's racist because that's how they've been brainwashed to think. I've lived in the Western world, I lived in Africa. So I, I understand why the Africans will be angry and I also understand why the Americans will act that way. Because living in America, you, you're brought up to think Africa is like, no go area. In Africa, we brought up to think, yo, these people took everything from us. You feel me? So I feel like that's something that we have to fix. Politics is a passion of yours. Yeah. Is that something that you might go into after that? I mean, that? probably. If I'm not in it 100%, I'll probably be around it. In Nigeria, we have elections coming up <clears throat> in February. Um, and there's this thing I'm doing called defend your vote. But you know, you vote, you leave, and then they mess everything up. After you vote, you wait there. After you vote, wait there, let them count everything. I'm not gonna stop till they change. For now, a career in politics will have to wait. Next on his to-do list, New York's Madison Square Gardens.